योर क्वेश्चन इज द फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड टर्म ऑफ जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन आर फर्स्ट फोर्थ एंड टेंथ टर्म ऑफ एन आर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन गिवेन दैट द फर्स्ट टर्म इन इज प्रोग्रेशन इज ट्वेल्व एंड द कॉमन रेशियो इज आर फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एंड द फिफ्थ टर्म ऑफ ईच प्रोग्रेशन सी दैट वॉट देव गिवेन दे हैव गिवेन दैट वी हैव टू प्रोग्रेशन one is your gp another is your ap now they have given you the first second and the th third term of geometric the first term is your a second is your a2 and third is your a3 how we will write in gp In GP, a is equal to a. A two is equal to a r, and a three is equal to a r square. Hmm? This is equal to what they have given in AP. The first term a is equal to a. This they have given here. in the second term of this gp they have given the fourth term fourth term how we will write in ap a plus 3d it will be a plus 3d and the third term of gp is equal to the tenth term that means a plus 9d so these are your that and they have given that a is your 12 so first we will go for this so we can say 12r is equal to a is 12 plus 3d 12 plus 3d if you substitute here what we will get so we will get 12 r square that is equal to 12 plus 9d by first you can see all the terms are divisible by 3 so divide it so here we will get 4r is equal to 4 plus d if you divide this by 3 again we will get 4r square is equal to 4 plus 3d now subtract it if you subtract it that means go for elimination method for elimination method what we have to do just we have to see here 3 is there so here also we will keep 3 so that means this first equation we have to multiply by 3 into 3 so now if you multiply by 3 here you will get 12r is equal to 12 plus 3d now you got these two equations so here just minus it or you can say elimination method that means subtract it for subtraction we have to change the sign of this now 3d minus 3d it will go out 4 minus 12 is minus 8 and here what we will get see this 4r square minus 12r that means 4r is common so here we will get r minus 3 that is equal to minus 8 this equation we will get it here hmm no so now what we have to do 
or we will go for uh, what we can say for a quadratic equation it will be 4r square minus 12r and this minus bring to left side it will be plus 2 that is equal to 0 if you see this equation it sorry plus 8 it will be divided by 4 so now we will get r square minus 3r plus 2 that is equal to 0 now so go for middle term splitting so here 2 is there that means we will write minus 2 minus 1 so now it will be r square minus 2r minus r plus 2 is equal to 0 here what is common? R is common. So here we will get R minus 2. And here minus 1 is common. Again we will get R minus 2. What we have to do? Just we have to write two factors. So they are R minus 1 and R minus 2 that is equal to 0. So now we can say r is equal to 1 or r is equal to minus 2, sorry 2. So now they, if you see the question, they have given what? Common ratio that is r, r is not equal to 1. That means this is not your r. Therefore r is 2. Now we will substitute this value in any one of this. So we will go for A2. So now we can say A is 12 and R is 2. That is equal to A is 12 plus 3D. So this is 24 minus 12 that is equal to 3D. So we can say is 12 is equal to 3D. So D is equal to 12 by 3. That is equal to 4. So we got the common difference as 4. Now see that what they have given. Find the value of R that we have already find it out. That is 2. And the sixth term of each progression. That means A6 in GP. A6 in GP, how we will write it as? A R to the power of 5. And in AP, it will be A plus 5D. Now substitute the values here. So if you see this, A, -E, A is 12. And R, R is 2, 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 5 is what? 32. So we can say 12 into 32. Now multiply it, you will get 4, 6. Again 2, 3. So here we will get 4, 8, 3. 384 in GP. And if you go for A6 in AP, it will be 12 plus 5 into 4. We will get 12 plus 20. That is equal to 32. So like this we have to do it.